guys, it's Classic Hour 96. So, I finally come to this. I'm going to show you guys my entire <laughs> Kerry Grant DVD collection. I've been so excited to do pretty much for the past four years, I think. <laughs> so, I'm going to quickly get started because there's like a whole mountain full of movies. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the Blu-rays first. A very very good movie I'm gonna start with and that is Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief. This is actually my most favorite Cary Grant movie of all time and also Grace Kelly as well. Love this movie so good. And Affair to Remember which is actually one of my most favorites as well. Made me cry so yeah I love this movie. So cute. Okay so to my DVDs here we go. Mr. Lucky Quite an alright film. In name only. I actually like this film because I, I think it's because Carol Lombard's in it and I really liked her and Carrie together. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Crisis, which was an okay film. The Grass is Greener, which is another film Carrie made with Deborah Carr. Also stars Robert Mitchum as well. People Will Talk. Kiss Them For Me. Oh my gosh, this movie. The Bachelor and the Boppy Socks Soxer. Oh my gosh. Probably like one of the most ridiculous, funniest movies I've ever seen in my entire life. It stars Myrna Loy and Shirley Temple, like teenage Shirley Temple. Oh my gosh, I loved this movie. It was so silly and hilarious, and I just loved it so much. <laughs> Mr. Blanding's Billsy's Dream House, Myrna Loy, again. This was a pretty good film. I really enjoyed, like, this movie. I've only seen it once, but yeah, it was still pretty good. <clears throat> and one of Cary Grant's least favorite movies he's ever made is Arsenic and Old Lace. I personally enjoyed it. I thought it was, like, a good movie i felt like it was more of a play than a movie but yeah i kind of enjoyed that it. It was good destination tokyo with john garfield and i actually own this movie in two copies because i love it so much katherine hepburn and jimmy stewart one of my most all-time favorites i've seen this movie i think over 10 times and i just love it, it never gets old <laughs> And this is another favourite of mine. My favourite wife. I thought this movie was quite funny too. <laughs> and oh my gosh. Irene Dunn. I liked her with Carrie. When she worked with Carrie. And this personally is my least favourite Carrie Grant film. Sylvia Scarlet. I didn't hate it. But I just thought the story wasn't all that interesting. But it was like the first movie that he made of Catherine Hepburn. So that's probably why I liked it. I love the chemistry. So, And oh my gosh. This movie... Oh my gosh, the most heartbreaking movie ever. Penny Serenade, which is another movie he made with Irene Dunn. Oh my gosh. I love this movie. I'm a bit surprised this, this actually isn't my top favourite Cary Grant movie, but it should be, I reckon. And I just love it so much. Maybe like one of his favourite movies, from the, my favourite movies from the 40s, I guess, of Cary. Um, and a fair to remember I have on DVD... The Pride and the Passion. Mm. I've read behind the I've read the stories behind the scenes with these two right here, and also Frank Sinatra is there too. <clears throat> and this is like a two feature film collection thing. It's got my favorite wife on here and Gunga Din. Uh, I'll start start with that soon. I'm gonna go to this pile first. Ooh. Okay, so now we're going to start with the few Hitchcock movies he's made. And this is like his most well-known movie, North by Northwest. Love this movie. My, I think this is actually my favourite Cary Grant movie, his most cla classic film in general. Notorious, oh my gosh, love this movie. In with Ingrid Bergman. Oh my gosh, I'm going to create a mess here. <laughs> To Catch a Thief that I own on DVD. And the last Hitchcock film, Suspicion, with Joan Fontaine. It's funny how she won the Oscar for this film, but he didn't, which is 
which is good for her, I guess. But I was pretty sad that Carrie didn't get it. Because I thought he was the best in this movie. But, oh well. <laughs> and one of his best comedies, The Awful Truth. I've seen this probably like five times. And honestly, yeah, it's it's good. it has a good story to it. As well as some funny scenes. But I like really enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, another one with Catherine Hepburn. That is Holiday. Loved this movie. Good movie. <laughs> Early Angels Have Wings. The Talk of the Town, which I actually really liked. Interesting. Topper. I've only seen the first one because Carrie only shows up in the first one. So, yeah. Born to be Bad, which is like one of these most earliest, earliest films, as you can kind of tell. <laughs> My, my, my most favourite Christmas movie is The Bishop's Wife. I think this is the one Cary Grant movie I've seen the most times because I just love this movie. Oh my gosh. Once Upon a Time. This is like one of Cary's, or maybe Cary's most rarest movies ever made. But I actually really enjoy this. I'm surprised that it isn't very well known. Operation Petticoat with Tony Curtis. And the only musical Carrie had ever starred in, that is Night and Day. I actually really like this movie too. I thought it was cute. <gasps> my mama's favourite Cary Grant comedy movie. Or my, one of my most all-time favourite comedies ever made. And that is Bringing Up Baby. Love, love this movie. And also one of my favourite Catherine Hepburn movies too. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for a movie to, like, completely crack down or break down into laughter, watch this film. It's, oh my gosh, it's so funny. I loved it. And, yeah. This is probably, like, my second most watched Cary Grant film after The Bishop's Wife. I just love this movie. <laughs> His Girl Friday. I actually, like, didn't like it as much as a lot of people do, but I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. That Touch of Mink. Which stars Doris Day. I thought was pretty good. Another cute movie. Carrie star with Ingrid Bergman. Indiscreet. Houseboat. Which is another one he made with Sophia Loren. I Was a Male Warbriar. Which is actually another quite of a silly comedy. But still fun to watch. And one of my fav... Oh, get away, bring up baby. <laughs> And one of my favourite Cary Grant movies, and that is Charade, which is actually, uh, what do you call those murder mystery type movies? It was like that, and stars Audrey Hepburn. Love this movie. This, I think this is like my third favourite Cary Grant movie of all time, I reckon. Uh, yes, this is a very brilliant, brilliant movie. Alright, the last few here. Father Goose. This, this is a good movie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And the, the very, very last movie Cary Grant has ever made, and that is Walk, Don't Run. I think it came out in 1966, I believe. Uh, somewhere around there. Alright, so yeah. So now I'm going to go on to the, this pile here. This, uh, this is like some kind of documentary type of DVD I have, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. pretty good though. And this is like... One of my most favourite box sets I have, and that is the Vault Collection of 18 of the archives. This is Cary Grant's, mo like, one of his most earliest filmings, as you can see, in all the all his 1930s right there. So, yeah. So, look at that, guys. Big mess i got to clean up right here. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my Cary Grant DVD collection. I hope you enjoyed so yeah, my most favourite of his movies is North by Northwest, To Catch a Thief, Charade, Bringing Up Baby, and um, hmm, I think my favourite wife, or I think it's a tie between my favourite wife and the bishop's wife, so yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for my um, book collection of Cary Grant, and I might even end up doing a Clark Gable DVD collection too. I haven't got as many movies as with Clark Gable as Cary Grant because he's literally my most favorite actor of all time classic and just in general <laughs> so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys real soon also I just wanted to say that I still need to get a few more of his movies and when I do I'll do an update collection maybe not with all these movies like this but like when I get 
more of his films. I still probably need to get five more and that's it. And I have all of his movies. So yeah, I actually look forward to doing that. I've collected his movies since 2016. So pretty much four years I've grabbed all these movies. Basically. 